a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Mark Meadows, North Carolina politician. Mark Randall Meadows is an American politician who has been the U.S. Representative for North Carolina's 11th Congressional District since January 2013. He is a member of the Republican Party and chair of the Freedom Caucus. He is considered one of President Donald Trump's closest allies in Congress. Early life, education, and business career Meadows was born at a United States Army Hospital in Verdun, France where his father was serving in the Army and his mother worked as a civilian nurse. His mother was from Sevierville, Tennessee, and his father from Pineville, Arkansas. He grew up in Brandon, Florida and described his upbringing as poor. He said that he was a fat nerd who went on a diet after being rejected for a date by a classmate. Meadows attended Florida State University for one year in 1977-78. In 1980, he graduated from the University of South Florida with an Associate of Arts. Meadows was later credited by the Office of the Historian of the U.S. House of Representatives, and by Meadows himself, as having earned a bachelor's degree, but this was corrected after an investigation by the Tampa Bay Times in December 2018 found it was an associate degree. In 1987, Meadows started Aunt Dee's, a small restaurant in Highlands, North Carolina. He later sold it and used the proceeds to start a real estate development company in the Tampa, Florida area. While living in Highlands, Meadows served as chairman of the Republican Party in Macon County, and was a delegate to several state and national Republican conventions. Meadows previously served on North Carolina's Board for Economic Development in Western North Carolina. In 2011 he moved to Glenville, North Carolina. In summer 2016, he sold his house, and moved into an apartment in Biltmore Park, a mixed-use community in Asheville, North Carolina while deciding where to buy next in either Henderson or Buncombe counties. He is the owner of Highlands Properties, which specializes in construction and land development. 2012 Election In late 2011, Meadows announced he was running for Congress in North Carolina's 11th Congressional District, for the seat being vacated by Democratic incumbent Heath Shuler. The district had been significantly altered in redistricting, New lines were drawn straight through the middle of Warren Wilson College. Notably, it lost most of Asheville to the 10th district, while picking up some heavily Republican territory in the foothills. The old 11th had a slight Republican lean, but the new 11th was on paper the most Republican district in the state. In 2011, the North Carolina state legislature drew the congressional districts based on updated population information from the 2010 census. As a result, the district is now 91.2% white, 3.0% black, 1.4% Native American, and 1.0% Asian. District 11 now includes the counties of Buncombe, Clay, Cherokee, Graham, Haywood, Henderson, Jackson, Macon, McDowell, Madison, Polk, Swain, Transylvania, and Yancey. Meadows won the July 2012 Republican primary runoff and in the November general election faced Democratic nominee Hayden Rogers, who had been Shula's chief of staff. On August 28, Meadows spoke at the 2012 Republican National Convention in Tampa. He won the general election with approximately 57% of the vote and took office in January 2013. Tenure Meadows has signed a contract from America, a list of 10 policies assembled by the Tea Party movement. Meadows voted against relief for Hurricane Sandy along with a group of other Republicans who cited pork barrel spending in the relief bill that had nothing to do with hurricane relief. Meadows introduced the Hezbollah International Financing Prevention Act of 2014, a bill that would impose sanctions on foreign financial institutions that facilitate transactions or money laundering on behalf of Hezbollah or its agents. Hezbollah is designated a terrorist organization in the United States. The bill passed in the House on July 22, 2014. Meadows said that, we must pass this legislation to make sure that we can do as cripple their ability to finance and put people out of harm's way. On July 23, 2014, 
Meadows introduced the Federal Records Accountability Act of 2014, a bill that would change the record-keeping requirements about some types of communications to ensure that information is not lost. The bill would make it easier to fire a person who willfully and unlawfully concealed, removed, mutilated, obliterated, falsified, or destroyed any record, book, or other thing in the custody of such employee. It would also ban federal employees from using instant messaging for work purposes. Meadows served as chair of the Subcommittee on Government Operations up until June 20, 2015, when fellow Republican Congressman Jason Chaffetz removed him from the position. Chaffetz, a member of the House Republican leadership, removed Meadows due to Meadows' vote against a procedural motion presented by Republican leadership. Meadows was one of 34 Republicans who voted against the motion to allow for consideration of President Barack Obama's request for fast-track authority on trade agreements. Speaker John Boehner supported the measure. But many Republicans felt that the move gave too much power to Democrats and Obama specifically. This action was seen as controversial, with many prominent Republican politicians, including Texas Senator Ted Cruz, speaking out against the punishment. On July 28, 2015, Meadows filed a motion to vacate the chair in order to force Boehner from his leadership position. The action was widely seen as an escalation of the feud between a faction of conservatives and the GOP leadership. Conservatives had long urged a coup against Boehner, whom they viewed as too eager to make deals with Democrats. On January 29, 2019, Meadows told newly seated Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez that lawmakers need more than three days' notice to attend questioning, because they are busy and not just sitting around eating bonbons. The pair became confrontational during the first meeting of the Oversight and Reform Committee since Democrats took control of the House, the first time he and she appeared at a meeting together. He told Chairman Elijah Cummings that members should get five days' notice before hearing questioning of witnesses by staff attorneys. Ocasio-Cortez asked Cummings if Republicans, when controlling the committee in the 115th Congress, gave members more notice to make arrangements, to which he replied in the negative. 2013 Federal Government Shutdown Meadows has been described as playing an important part of the United States federal government shutdown of 2013. On August 21, 2013, he wrote an open letter to Boehner and Majority Leader Eric Cantor encouraging them to affirmatively defund the implementation and enforcement of Obamacare in any relevant appropriations bills brought to the House floor in the 113th Congress, including any continuing appropriations bill. The document was signed by 79 of Meadows' colleagues in the House. Heritage Action Ran critical internet advertisements in the districts of 100 Republican lawmakers who failed to sign the letter. The letter has been described as controversial within the Republican Party. The New York Daily News said Meadows put the federal government on the road to shutdown, saying calls to defund Obamacare through spending bills languished until Meadows wrote his letter. Meadows downplayed his influence, saying, I'm one of 435 members and a very small part of this. CNN described Meadows as the architect of the brink for his letter suggesting that Obamacare be defunded in any continuing appropriations bill. Meadows said that sensationalized his role. John Ostender for the Asheville Citizen Times wrote that Meadows said it's best to close the government in the short term to win a delay on Obamacare. Despite the potential negative impact on the economy, Ostendorf wrote that Meadows said he was doing what Tea Party members in Western North Carolina wanted him to do. Meadows said his constituents wanted him to fight against Obamacare, regardless of consequences. Jane Bellello, head of the Asheville Tea Party, said Meadows, truly represents us, on the issue of Obamacare. Meadows reportedly holds conference calls with members of the Asheville Tea Party, telling them what's going on in Congress and about challenges he faces promoting their agenda. In public comments, Meadows stated he was working on a compromise that involved passing appropriations bills that would fund only parts of the government, such as a bill to fund the National Park Service, Smithsonian Institution, National Gallery of Art, and United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, and a bill to fund the National Institutes of Health. But partial or, many, Funding bills were rejected by the Democratic majority in the United States Senate.
resolution to remove Speaker Boehner. On July 28, 2015, Meadows filed a resolution to vote on whether to remove John Boehner as Speaker of the House. If the resolution was successful, the House would then vote to elect a replacement Speaker of the House. Because Meadows filed it as a non-privileged resolution, it was sent to the House Committee on Rules for a vote first, rather than the House floor. The Committee on Rules was considered to have many members who were loyal to Boehner, so the resolution was seen as unlikely to move forward. Meadows said he filed the resolution because Boehner had endeavored to consolidate power by passing the majority of Congress through inaction caused the power of Congress to atrophy, uses the power of the office to punish members who vote according to their conscience, has intentionally provided for voice votes on consequential and controversial legislation to be taken without notice, and with few members present, uses the legislative calendar to create crises for the American people, allowed members less than three days to review legislation before voting, and limited meaningful debate on the House floor. The resolution received support from Congressman Walter B. Jones Jr. Boehner responded, Listen, you have a member here and a member there who are off the reservation, no big deal. Listen, this is one member. All right. I've got broad support amongst my colleagues. And frankly, it isn't even deserving of a vote. On September 25, Boehner announced his intention to resign as Speaker. He officially resigned on October 31, 2015. In a Vanity Fair article, published October 30, 2017, Boehner said of Meadows, he's an idiot. I can't tell you what makes him tick. 2016 election Meadows appeared with candidate Donald Trump on the campaign trail in Winston-Salem, North Carolina in July 2016 just after the Republican National Convention, leading the crowd in a chant, Lock her up, the anti-Hillary Clinton refrain. 2018 election Meadows won re-election to his seat in the November 6, 2018 election receiving 59% of the vote to his Democratic opponent Philip Price's 38%. In the build-up to the election, Meadows continued to support Trump's agenda, referring to Trump as a conservative president in 2017 and suggesting that Republicans who didn't support Trump should be removed from office. In January 2018, Meadows traveled to Davos, Switzerland, with a congressional delegation for the World Economic Forum along with a White House delegation including Trump and cabinet members including Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, and Energy Secretary Rick Perry. Price, the co-owner of a small lumber recycling business in McDowell County, defeated a doctor and a college professor in the Democratic primary. He attributed his primary win to hard work. Meadows, he said, was instead spending his time attacking a Justice Department official supervising the special counsel investigating the Trump administration. Abortion Meadows is pro-life and has called abortion a tragedy. He opposes federal funding for abortion and believes parents should be notified of underage abortion procedures. He also opposes churches and other religious sites being forced to provide birth control options. Birtherism. While running for office in June 2012, Meadows said, 2012 is the time we are going to send Mr. Obama home to Kenya or wherever it is, alluding to the conspiracy theory that President Obama was not born in the United States. He made a similar comment later that month. Asked about his comment, Meadows said it was a non issue, probably a poor choice of words on my part, and that he ultimately believed that Obama was an American citizen budget. Meadows is part of a group that has advocated for a balanced budget amendment to the United States Constitution. He opposed the recent federal stimulus spending and has expressed desire for the federal spending growth rate to be capped at the inflation rate. He supports a moratorium on all earmarks until the budget has been balanced. Meadows opposes any cuts to military spending levels. Civil rights in February 2013, Meadows voted against renewing the Violence Against Women Act. Meadows has said he casts his votes based not on his personal feelings, but on what the majority of his constituents in God's country tell him to do. Environment and Energy 
In December 2016, Meadows gave Trump a wish list of regulations to be repealed. It included a demand to get rid of federal funding to study climate change. He also requested Trump repeal several environmental regulations, including the Renewable Fuel Standard, end the prohibition of drilling oil on federal lands, and pull the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Agreement. Meadows has stated that cap-and-trade emission policies are ineffective and have minimal impact on the global environment. He has proposed that the United States tap into oil and gas reserves to keep energy prices low and develop energy independence. He supports tapping into offshore oil and gas supplies. LGBT rights Meadows opposes same-sex marriage. In March 2013, he stated that if the Supreme Court allowed gay marriage, it would cause a constitutional crisis if the federal government decided to dismiss state decisions and thus infringe on states' rights. Healthcare Meadows opposes the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act and has stated that it should be replaced by private enterprise. Meadows, who at the time had been in office for less than a year, wrote the letter that initially urged House Speaker John Boehner to shut down the government unless the ACA was defunded. He has been criticized by some constituents for being responsible for the 2013 government shutdown and been labeled its chief architect by The Washington Post. His district in North Carolina lost up to $1 million per day during the shutdown from the national parks being closed. In January 2017, Meadows voted yes on a budget resolution that initiated the process of repealing Obamacare. On May 4, 2017, Meadows voted for the American Health Care Act, which would partially repeal and replace Obamacare. After the Congressional Budget Office released numbers about the echoes effects on Americans on May 24, 2017, there were several reports that Meadows became emotional after reading about the echoes likely effects on those with pre-existing conditions. Others reported he cried only after bringing up his family members who had dealt with pre-existing conditions, including his sister who had died of breast cancer, and his father who had died of lung cancer. Meadows said he wouldn't make a political decision today that affects somebody's sister or father, because I wouldn't do it to myself. When asked about the CBO numbers, Meadows said the government should ensure people with pre-existing conditions can afford health care, saying, the president is committed to making sure pre-existing conditions are covered in principle and in practice, which means that funding has to be there to make it work. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?